American astronaut Michael Collins has died. Collins was a member of the historic Apollo 11 mission, where humans took their first steps on the moon. He was 90 years old. Peter King takes a look back at his life. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right. I don't mind a bit. For Michael Collins, it was so close yet so far away. As his crewmates Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon, July 20th, 1969. Collins, the third crew member, stayed aboard to pilot the command ship Columbia, traveling 238,000 miles, only to fall just 69 miles short of the lunar surface. He flew the spacecraft alone for nearly 28 hours while his colleagues took their lunar stroll. Collins relying on information about what was happening below from Mission Control. The time that I was by myself, I was enjoyable, perfectly enjoyable. I had hot coffee. I had music if I wanted it. I was not, not one iota lonely. He lost contact with Houston and mankind every time the ship orbited around the back side of the moon, but it was the Earth that captured his attention and wonder. The thing I remember most is the view of planet Earth from a great distance. Tiny, very shiny, blue and white, bright, beautiful, serene, and fragile. In 2009, Collins said that he was perfectly happy with the seat he had on Apollo 11, his second and final trip into space. Collins, Aldrin, and Armstrong became American heroes after their historic flight, touring 25 countries in five weeks. Collins was a fighter pilot and jet pilot in the Air Force before joining NASA in 1963. He later worked at the State Department and led the team responsible for the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum, where the Apollo 11 capsule now resides. In his biography, Michael Collins wrote, I'm too old to fly to Mars, and I regret that, but I still think I've been very, very lucky. Peter King, CBS News, Orlando.